So this device, it is a hydroponic um, device that grows plants two to three times faster than normal. Uh, it's an in-home appliance and it clearly, it has a nice aesthetic so you can put it in anywhere in your home and it would look great, um, like in your kitchen or something. Um, it allows people to grow plants that are organic and it's a lot cheaper than going to the grocery store. Um, and the next model that we're actually working on is a bit smaller and grows 45 plants at the same time. So you could feed a whole family very easily. So as a computer science major, my role in this project was programming the device to control this whole thing, control the pump, the, uh, the EC monitors, the, monitoring the pH levels, and just turning the lights on and off. Now, um, it's kind of like a Keurig cup. You just place it in there, like so, and then it grows a plant, it grows the root, water will mist down, it will allow it to grow. And since it's at an angle, it grows up and it doesn't hang. As an incoming freshman at Purdue, I was looking for groups to join. I joined Purdue Hackers, and they, they put on a bunch of events, um, and they, they organize hackathons. And I, ever since I started going to hackathons, I started doing more side projects at home. And just doing that, I've learned more from that than actually in school. And I would advise anyone who starts computer science to do that. Take part in Purdue Hackers. Go to all the hackathons you can. Meet people. You, like, the first hackathon I did, I didn't know how to make anything, and I made an iPhone app in 24 hours just from asking people. There's engineers all around that work at companies, um, like, and just doing that, it helped me, you know, learn how to code. It helped me learn how to make things, and just outside of just homework assignments or in in labs. As yeah. computer science students, all we do really is work on like virtual things. You don't actually get to see your product, and I think it's really rewarding working on a project where you can right away see the lights turn on. You're like, oh, I did that. And then you can, you can turn the water on and off, and then you can taste it, too. And you can, you know, it's, it's really nice. I think everyone should at least try doing something like this. I mean, it doesn't have to be with growing plants, but growing or working on a hardware device to see your code actually do something in real life.